On the previous video, I showed you how to highlight the results of a safe search, putting a flag, making the line bold, and putting some background color to it. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make a graph out of the safe search that you created. So you have to understand a chart or a graph uh, requires two elements, a dimension and a value. So the value could be the value of all sales invoices made, and the dimension could be by month, by customer, by sales rep, by product category, etc. So what you do is you need to customize or create a safe search. Here I went to transaction and uh, sales and I looked at the list of uh, invoices. So I already uh, edited this. I created a new safe search called invoice lookup chart. I'm going to click on this. Uh, there is a lot of information, so it's not meant to be used on a sub list like we're seeing here. So if you're trying the same thing from a drop down um, list of transactions or things like that, and you're seeing, seeing an error on the result, don't panic, it's normal. It just means that there's too much information to show on a single chart. But we can actually work with this on the dashboard and NetSuite will uh, let us just show the first 10 elements or the first five elements. So this is the result right now of the safe search I uh, used. And uh, obviously there's an unexpected error, which is normal. Let me just click on edit view. And I'm going to show you how I got to creating the safe search. So at that stage, I click on more options to get in deeper into the safe search. And here you will realize that I didn't change anything on the criteria. I just set uh, on the results two fields, the name on the transaction, meaning the uh, the name of the customer, which I grouped in the summary type, and the amount that I summed. Instead of the name, I could have put the date, uh, or I could have put the sales rep, and this is the amount. How do I know this is an invoice? On the criteria, I've set the status of the transaction to be invoice open. So not only is it invoice, it's showing me the value of open invoices by customer. Now that you've got these two fields, uh, don't forget don't forget to change the output type of that safe search from normal to graph. If you leave it as normal and save it, you are going to see a result on the, on the list view. Here on the invoices, for example, you're going to be able to see all of these customers and all the amounts of open invoices by customer. But if we click back on edit and we change that to chart, you're not going to see this anymore. You're going to have an error on that page, but it doesn't matter because you can still use the safe search on the dashboard to look at your information as a chart. So on output type, I'm going to change that to graph. I sorted by amount so that I can see the largest open uh, values first. You could sort this by customer, by sales rep name, or by different kind of uh, information within one of the two options that you selected here. Right, so that's all there is to it. You have to remember the name of that search, invoice lookup chart. You save it, and then you'll go on your dashboard. On your dashboard, you're going to click on personalize on the top right, and you're going to add a custom search. You close the customization section, and within the custom search, you're going to click on these three little dots here and click on setup. And here you're going to look for the invoice lookup chart. That's the name of the safe search. This one is a list view. You know, it's a table view. And this one is the chart. So I'm clicking on the chart. And let's say I want the top 10 results first. I could change this to top, let's say, 15, for example. Let's click on Save. Okay, so here it is, the 15 first highest open invoices by value and by customer. Of course, you can move this. You don't have to leave it uh, on the middle section. You can move it uh, on, the, uh, on, on another part of the dashboard. And whenever you, you move your mouse on the filter, you can access the smaller amounts of open invoices down the list. Right now, you're just seeing the top 15 one and it's only for the status where the invoice is open. You can always play with this, change the status to be able to see uh, different types of uh, 
sales transactions, for example. Right, so that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it made sense to you. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you soon for another video on NetSuite. Thank you, and goodbye.